India is not ready for independence. India needs another 50 years before she is ready for independence. Swami Vivekananda left his body in 1902. And what happened exactly 50 years later in 1947? Doesn't that show he had some kind of great insight? You know, it shows that he was not using merely his buddhi, merely his intellect. Later on he said, Europe is sitting on a volcano, and if Europe continues in, its, in the same vein, it will implode. And World War I, World War II, the Cold War, the Bolshevik Revolution, all happened afterwards as a direct result of their avarice and their greed. So these are the things that may impress me about Swami Vivekananda. I just want to finish off by reading two quotes, because Swami Vivekananda was very much for universalism, universal acceptance. He never ever, even though he spoke to a Western audience, he spoke in London and America, most of his preaching and teaching was done there. Never once did he say, you must all become Hindus, you must all leave your Islamic or Christian or Judaic religions and follow Hinduism. Never. In fact, he was against it. He never tried to convert anybody and in fact he strongly discouraged it. And there's two quotes that stood out and I made a note of it. One he said, we know that all religions alike, from the lowest fetishism to the highest absolutism, are but so many attempts of the human soul to grasp and realize the infinite. So we gather all these flowers, bind them together with a cord of love, and make them into a wonderful bouquet of worship. Wouldn't it be nice if the world could think like this? Being from South Africa, which is not only multicultural and multiracial and multilingual, but it's very integrationist in a way that's different from India, I would say. Because, yeah, I, won't go, I won't go into that. But the point is that it's a very nice message, isn't it? He spoke about acceptance, not tolerance. And he specifically said, everyone speaks about we must have tolerance in our life. But he said tolerance is a bad thing. We mustn't have tolerance. Tolerance means I allow you to live. I'll allow you to be there, but I'll condemn you secretly. But he spoke about acceptance, complete acceptance, like five fingers on the hand, he said. He said we need all five fingers. Like that, we need all cultures and all religions to function harmoniously together. The seed is put in the ground. The air and earth and water are built <coughs> around it. Does the seed become the earth or the air or the water? No. Together it all becomes a plant. It develops after the law of its own growth. It assimilates the air, the earth, the water, and converts them into plant substance and grows into a plant. Similar is the case of religion. The Christian is not to become a Hindu. And the Hindu is not to become a Buddhist. And the Buddhist is not to become a Hindu or to become a Christian. But each must assimilate the spirit of the others and preserve his own individuality and grow according to his own law of growth. So I said a lot. I don't want to elaborate.